Meanwhile, it was another day of disappointment for the Sharifs. They remain in jail. Their bail plea has been rejected, meaning Nawaz Sharif and his daughter Maryam will not be out of prison before the 25th of July election. The Islamabad High Court has rejected their applications and has adjourned the hearing in the case till the end of this month. The Sharifs had appealed their sentencing in the Avonfield Properties Corruption Case, a two-judge bench is hearing the matter. The Sharifs want this verdict to be declared null and void. They say it was full of flaws. And their brother, Nawaz Sharif's brother, Shehbaz, has said that he is being mistreated in the Adiala jail. He's written a letter to the Punjab Chief Minister, Hassan Askari Rizvi, alleging what he says is poor treatment being meted out to Nawaz Sharif. Shehbaz Sharif is the acting president of the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz Party, the PMLN. In his letter, he said that his brother was being denied newspapers. The three-time prime minister was not being provided with a bed, forcing him to sleep on a mattress. And the environment, he said, in the Adiala jail was pathetic. Even the washroom was extremely dirty. He said the prison environment was highly detrimental to the former prime minister's well-being. Shehbaz Sharif has now requested that keeping in mind his brother's health, the government should allow Nawaz Sharif's personal doctor to visit him twice every day. This comes days after reports emerged of the stern treatment which was meted out to the Sharifs at the Islamabad airport when they were on their way to the Adiala jail. Reports say Nawaz Sharif and his daughter were separated on their arrival in Pakistan. Despite the former prime minister's request, he was not allowed to meet Mariam on his way to jail. The 68-year-old was also sandwiched, we are told, between two men on his 50-kilometer journey from the airport to the Adiala jail in an SUV.